Well, good morning, guys. It is seven o'clock in the morning and she's alive. I'll show you the heartbeat up here. It didn't do that with the 12 volt power off. So I've got a five way switch inside. Better get a flashlight. I'm gonna go turn it off and see what's causing that. So I feel like it's Christine. I got the flashlight on here and the label maker. The only thing I have on besides the relays and these little lights is this uh, fan, but I thought it would have given me more of a even pulse. Let me know if you see anything in here. I think it's the bus itself. I don't want to call her calling Christine though. Or her. Maybe that's a good name. Freaked myself out. So this up here, I don't know why they called a load group. Probably maybe they couldn't get it printed. I'm gonna turn them all off and see if that makes the pulse go away. Alright, so I came back out here. I ended up I turned everything off inside, still did it, turned this off, and it still did it. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck's still on. It's just a little pulse. Like I said, it's like a heartbeat. I'll take another screenshot, but I've got all of these off. I have the 12 volt off. Maybe it's, surely, when I had the fuses off, it didn't do any of that. I don't know what it would be. I gotta go to work. Well guys, what we're doing right now is pulled wire for the wake speed. And so I've got a mess here of automotive wire. I got a fish tape and I removed this cover and it's open to the fuel tank. I should have showed it, but it was dark and hot. Um, basically, there's a conduit in here that runs all the way to the back. So I put a fish tape through and then pulled these wires along with the uh, sense wire um, all the way back here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it up in here. So there's those wires and they go all the way back up in there. And so I got some of this wire cover and I've wrapped everything in it. Um, and so what I'm working on now is the alternator positive wire comes up here to a fuse bracket. And so um, the terminals are rusted, corroded. So I'm taking it apart and I'm going to sand it all down. Um, I've got to put, I put some um, connectors on uh, for the wake speed and I'm going to hook this up. Um, basically what I've done, I need to crawl out of here. And there's quite a few connectors. So this one is the black to the wake speed. So I put it on and then you also need a temperature sensor. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Put the temperature sensor here. This is the field. This is the stator. And uh, I've got the red power to hook up. And then, which is this guy. And then what I have to do is get a um, ignition power. So I pulled another wire back and I found out on the other side of the bus, when you turn the ignition on, the old uh, regulator back there, it had an ignition thing. And so this 
I found this wire uh, goes over there. And so what I'm going to do is tap into it and I'm going to have this go to the ignition wire and come over here. So basically I'll pair these up. So when the ignition goes on, this one will go up and turn the uh, wake speed on. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I'm doing is putting that... Uh, it's hard to contortion myself to get in here. Um, this is that alternator protector. And so it's supposed to have a five amp fuse. So I got a five amp fuse. So it'll come out. I mounted it right here. And then I've also got the negative. So I've got to route back over here and attach it to the negative wire. But I also have to route a positive wire from here. And uh, gonna it, they want it attached to the um, uh, positive output and the negative of the alternator. So I got to take the negative back off and run wire over here and then run another positive wire over to there. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to do is get all of this stuff done and then I'm going to tidy it up and uh, probably call it, call it a day because we're going to leave uh, tomorrow. But then all of these wires, I got to come back here and uh, I may get those hooked up. I, I have to work too. So, and we're also leaving. So I'll see if it's a nice day out and when we're leaving um, and maybe get it hooked up. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to hook it up an hour before I leave. So I think I at least want to get all the wires attached and then I can um, I can work on this when I get the server rack and the batteries. They're supposed to come tomorrow too, and then we're gonna take off. But um, I think I got my Frankenstein mess good here, but just wanted to bring you into the loop. I got the wake speed wires pulled and the sense cable pulled. I got a 25 foot one, so I'll bring them over into here. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is give an update on where I'm at and put this video out. Basically, I've got from my last video, my Frankenstein uh, battery. Um, so knock on wood, they've been doing good, holding the charge. I've got everything uh, programmed with them. What I've done in the meantime is I've pulled six wires right here back to for my wake speed and this is back to the back and um, I was so flustered I didn't uh, film it but there's a cover right here and if you open it up there's kind of a space back there and there's a conduit and the conduit's broken in a couple spots I shouldn't say broken it's it's open in a couple spots so what I did was I put a pull string in through this way and then pulled these cables out and uh, what I have here so there's a black and the red for the alternator. There's a temperature sensor for the alternator. There's also the, um, what I'm calling the field wire and the stator wire, and then also an ignition. And so these guys come and go to one of one spot of the harness. There's another bunch of wires like this that actually wire up to the uh, battery. And I think what I'm gonna do is just make this road ready and uh, not mess with it. Um, I did a test on the batteries and running the fridge and all the electrical, it says seven hours and I've got a three hour trip. So I'm just gonna run there and then plug them back in and it should sustain me. Um, but those wires, they run back through here and I found a conduit. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it back up in there, probably not. There's three of them, there's probably more. And I ended up sticking the fish tape up in there and I ran the cables back this way and I slowly kind of broke them out of this cable. So these are the two for the field and the stator. Um, this one right here is the uh, uh, temperature sensor. And then I've 
broke out of here. This is the black and then also the red, it's fused. I found the fuse up here from the alternator, so I stuck it on here. I ended up taking the terminals off and cleaning it because um, it was really bad. And on the front here is where, this is the black lead, and then I made these. One is for the uh, alternator protection device, the other is the black um, of the other, and so I cleaned these terminals off as well. So these are, um, held in real well and uh, so I've got that in there so the one thing that I did intercept I did find the um, regulator for this is in a Prevo bay on the other side and so the field wire actually went to the right regulator um, right here and so this regulator wire I found it goes into this harness and it goes into two different wires and then it feeds clear back through on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is, cause I don't need that regulator, I'm gonna unhook it and use that field wire where it goes over there as my ignition on. And uh, so it, it's actually um, this blue wire. So basically the ignition on comes through to the blue and goes back up to the front. I'll show you that in a minute. And then while I'm back here, I ended up wiring up the alternator, the Sterling alternator uh, protection device. And it just has two uh, posts and one of them they want a fuse on it. And so I put a fuse on and then I put the waterproof connector, connections. Um, so I've got both of these coming in. And then, so the one red I've got comes up here to this side of the post. I wanted to leave this connection alone because it, it was, this is really well set up. And so it just comes up here and it dies on there. So that's where I've got the positive sense for the wake speed and then the positive for the um, protection device. And then the uh, black, it goes back up here, like I showed you before, um, to here. So if the alternator gets a surge, um, it will dissipate it. Uh, accordingly and so um, that's okay to set in here now everything's hooked up on it so this is another Prevo bay and like I said I found this um, it says converter regulator and that uh, that pans out and so this is the field wire right here so this is the one that essentially comes up over here and they've wired it into these two wires 12 and 13 and so I found it over there so basically what I'm going to do is take this field wire off and they already have an ignition wire right here so when I turn it on what I'm going to do is connect unhook it and take this ignition wire and then connect it to the field and then unhook the battery in the ground so that this uh, regulator is basically, it'll still stay in here, but I'll have the wires terminated. So basically then when I turn the ignition switch on, it will activate uh, this, actually it's one, uh, this one right here. It'll activate this switch. And then since I have these connected together, it will run over to the other side and then um, run over to here and so this red goes to my blue so my blue this wire right here so when I turn the ignition on basically this wire right here becomes live and then tells the wake speed to turn on because um, otherwise I had no idea how to turn this thing on. So basically it just comes over here and it it doesn't take power from it. So it's not like it draws a lot of amperage. It just, it, it needs that voltage signal to turn itself on. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect those wires in there. And uh, I'm also going to um, put a connector over the top of these just to make them safe and then put them back up in here. I uh, was hoping to do kind of an unboxing of the uh, new batteries. They're supposed to be here today. I can't make this stuff up. That's nice. Make sure you 
get all that all over you, dog. Um, I'll show you up here in the corner the routing from the batteries. I don't know how these shipping companies do it. Um, I have no idea where all that went, but um, supposed to be here here between two and four. Um, we're wanting to take off like at five or six, so I'm just going to receive it and uh, unpack it in here on the crate, and I'll do kind of an unboxing and stuff like that video um, late next week and tell this dog to get out of here. But uh, thanks for tuning in and watching. Stay tuned for the next video where um, hopefully I'll get the uh, batteries. I'll tear this back out, put it back together, get the wake speed in and ready to go because this next uh, Friday, it's uh, um, holiday weekend for us and we're gonna be leaving on Friday. So I'm hoping to um, tear into this after I get done with work. Uh, in the evenings and uh, lights been going down and mosquitoes are getting terrible so I only have a couple hours a night but um, I got to get it going before next Friday with the new system so uh, thanks for watching um, if you want to see or know anything with the EG4 the wake speed the Victron any of that stuff let me know um, I'll post up as much as I can there is some can uh, cables, I don't know what at all I can see, but um, we'll find out next week. Thanks for watching.